So with that intro clip, Mavericks Proving Ground, a 400 player battle royale is coming into competition with any shooter, not just Call of Duty, I mean with PUBG, Fortnite, H1Z1, Daisy, they're coming with it. Now, I feel like that might be a little over overdone. I mean, 400, 400 players in an open world, that's a lot of players and a lot of game time to be played, you know? I still get mad when I die in PUBG and lose everything, and I don't know. I don't know about that, but it looks, that was only a trailer, it looks, it looks fine. But the real, the real problem is Call of Duty is definitely in trouble. I hate to say it, but it's, it's very true. Just for the simple fact of it being in competition on console with Fortnite, PUBG, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a problem. It, it really is. It's, it's a huge problem for the community. Now, for Call of Duty to succeed in the next couple of years, they have to bring something new. I mean, Zombies is great. The headquarters is great. But they might actually have to bring in Battle Royale to keep up. Now, I would hate for Call of Duty to possibly follow the trend. I don't... You know what I'm saying? Like, following a trend is just basically saying that you're a follower and you're just doing it because everybody else is doing it and you see it working for others. I feel like Call of Duty does not need to do that. If they can find a, something new and fresh to implement in their game, they will be completely fine. I feel like people will still play it. But the formula for Call of Duty to really succeed in this war of competition, they will need to keep it simple and original. They need to go back into the roots. They need everything we all call of duty youtubers have talked about this like they went back to the roots with world war ii boots on the ground you know gritty war you know it's a world war ii you know stuff like that but a lot of people didn't like the gameplay of it you know they had lack of maps lack of gun selection you know they added the uh headquarters which was great you know stuff like that but a lot of people still found that game to be be trash it wasn't as good as we thought it was going to be now the beta the beta showed it honestly it's the same thing and it seems like the game was never finished and it still feel like it's in the beta stage with all these patches coming out and that's a huge problem that's why world war ii is definitely in this hole and then that's why fortnite and PUBG came in and just completely just took over this war has not been won yet we we have black ops 4 we have treyarch heading up in the next few months we have to put everything into this one this one possibly has to be the greatest call of duty we every call of duty says this every call of duty youtuber says this you know this is the last one but this is real serious business this is this is the final straw there's no more straws after this if you let fortnite and pubg succeed and a platform that you built, you will lose because they're doing everything everybody else wanted. It's fresh, it's new, a lot of people play it, my nephews play it, a lot of little kids play it, a lot of teenagers, grown-ups, it's trending everywhere. So who remembers when Call of Duty was like that? That's what they need again. If these guys could possibly make it just like how popular Fortnite and PUBG is, Call of Duty will be back. I know, I know a lot of people say that. I'm going to always say it. I'm going to be saying this next year. If I'm living, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be saying this. I'm always going to say Call of Duty needs to improve. It really do. I feel like they just need to stop looking into microtransactions and just really really look back on the stuff that actually worked and what people actually started to care about it's it's starting to get to a point where it's starting to get annoying we've been telling you this for years the community has been telling you this for years so now call of duty's in a hole because of these new games coming out now if they haven't took a step back with advanced warfare 
they would have been fine. Can you imagine if they didn't make Advanced Warfare and, and, and a different Call of Duty had came out and it was boots on the ground? Can you imagine that? That's what I'm trying to say. Now, don't get me wrong. Black Ops 3 was a great, great Advanced Movement Call of Duty. Infinite Warfare was garbage. But can you imagine if they didn't make those games, those uh, Advanced Movement type of games? Can you imagine that? Just, they will still have this platform. Because Ghost was trash, but I felt like they could have did some next year but they went to advanced movement so that kind of that hurt it right there that's the dead point right there they just completely just completely messed that up but they have to do right this year final straw this is your final outing they have to do it this is your boy gunner bring you another video please like and subscribe and comment ideas below and i am out guys peace